everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's staying in. I don't know. What are you finding to do to entertain yourself? So let me show you what I did. I finished almost my greenhouse that I was making. I started showing it in another video. Oh, there you go. In another video, I started showing the build. And here is my finished product. I may add more lights, move lights around in there because I, I don't know, I just might. But this is a shower curtain right here. And I have it on rings and I put the rings, you can see them in there. Ooh, let's see. I put the rings back here because I didn't want heat escaping. So what I'm going to do though is maybe I'm not sure yet I might have to cut this down the middle because it doesn't slide because there's wires that go this way so I have four hooks on each section or you know what no I don't have to cut it I'll just when I need to get into it I'll get into it from the side but there you go there's my the, the finished product of my DIY greenhouse I've got my dirt in the oven baking and it smells it just smells like dirt hot dirt so that's doing that I I don't know I heard I needed to do that so I'm doing that I have this week I'm gonna plant yeah green beans no no I'm not wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute this week I'm gonna do peppers I'm gonna put some peppers in this week next week I'll do tomatoes I've got I've got a system of when I'm going to plant these seeds. I really, I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever done this. By seed, I've done it. I've went and bought plants and stuff, but I wanted, I, mean, I just want to do it all. My husband has been working on our beds. I'll show you those. All right, I don't have any shoes on, so, but I did show these in another video. Let me zoom in. There's the first one. That end box is going to have green beans in it. We're going to do green beans. And across, and over here, we're going to be doing another one like that. With the same box on that end. And we'll be planting green beans on that side too. I did buy some dragon's tongue. The green and the purple from Baker's Creek. I'm waiting for those to come in. So, I, think the, I just think they'll look cool. Now, on the other end, we're going to put a compost. So, I'll be able to do a compost pile over there. I've always wanted to do, like, not always wanted to do, but recently, I want a worm farm. I want to do a worm farm in my compost pile. So, I'm going to do that. Boy, does it smell in here like dirt. Ugh. My dad did say, you know, that stinks. It does. It does. It does stink. So that's my day. I'm staying in today and doing doing this. My husband's going to stop on the way home and get more wood to finish the other bed because he wants to get that moving. We do have a pile of dirt at the end of our driveway from our neighbors. They did something. So around their house, they dug out around their house. Um, and we got a load of dirt from them. So that is going to go in the bottom of the beds because it's got some like little rocks in it and stuff. But so we're gonna put that in the bottom of the bed. Not a whole lot of that dirt, but just some like fill dirt in the bottom. And then we're gonna go buy some dirt, some nice dirt to put in for the rest. And then he said cow manure. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. He goes, well, you know, well, you know it might take off the neighbors. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. My neighbors, if you've watched my video, I have renter neighbors that actually are getting evicted so and our garden's really close to their windows that's not nice is it no but it is what it is the compost pile now he's going to make that with a lid so we'll have a lid on top of the compost pile kind of something that separates in the middle that i can kind of lift up because i'm i can't lift up anything heavy so i need something something easy i can lift up so we're going to do that all right, now you're in the microwave because I just couldn't hold the camera anymore. You're on my turny, my spinny thing. But anyway, my grandkids are very sick. My grandson, he's been having a temperature for about three or four days, over 100. Um, 
just sick, just sick. Now my other granddaughter yesterday ended up with a tough fever, started around 101. My other granddaughter now is sick. My daughter's taking them to the doctor today. I, I don't know, but my, my daughter did take my grandson to the ER. She had to go through the tent to get in the ER. The doctor tested him for everything but the the virus that's happening out there now. He had strep, he did everything, everything, because he was kind of nauseated, sick, high fever, and they told her it's just a virus. Well, this is like two or three days. She took him Saturday, Sunday. She took him Sunday. It's Tuesday now, and he's not doing any better. So we're all at a loss of what to do because you don't want to go to the hospital because because of everybody being sick, but you don't want your kid being sick. So what what do you do? Well, you know you're kind of stuck there. So I don't know how this virus affects kids. I know it's like an upper respiratory and all of that. But does it affect kids differently? I don't know. Wish they would test them. Just test them. Just see. So anyway, we're dealing with sick kids. I'm not. My daughters are. And their thermometers are breaking. Figure that out. Now that they need them, they're, they're not working correctly. So I told them, I said, I will go out and look for some and I doubt that I could even find them. So I said, you take their temperature three times and kind of average out and you'll, I guess, kind of know. But that's the best I can tell them to do, but try to get an average. I don't know. Well, I thought we could talk while I, I'm cutting up uh, asparagus, some asparagus. I've got a pan with some olive oil on it and I'm going to cut asparagus. My husband's not really fond of asparagus, but I really like asparagus, so I washed it. We're, I only like the tips though, and since I'm the only one that eats it, we're just going to have the tips, kind of. Those are my fave. When I was little girl, you know, we would fight over, well, that sure is a lot. Well, when I was little, and my, my dad... And I, we loved asparagus. We would, I would take all the chips out of the bowl. You know, he's like, hey, what are you doing? Uh, I like these. They're good. So anyway, I got the greenhouse done the way I like it. And let me go turn my microwave off because it's going to continue beeping until I do that. So hold on. I'm defrosting deer meat. My husband just called. He's going to stop at Menards on the way home to get more wood for the, the garden outside. He asked me if I wanted to go with him, and I'm like, no, I don't want to go. I'll stay in. So, less chances of us catching the virus if only one of us goes to the store, right? Right, that's what I was thinking. All right, I got this all chopped up, see? I do have a tripod I could get out, but... Doing that right now, anyway. So we'll put all this on this pan and then salt and pepper it, and then that's ready. But he called, he's on his way home from work, and I've been so busy on this greenhouse thing here and on some other. I edited, I edited, I edited a video probably that you saw yesterday. All right, I'm gonna stir this. I probably have too much olive oil in here because once it get, I do. Let me get a paper towel. We'll just kind of wipe some of it out because I know I have too much. See, I got a lot. Probably don't need this much, but anyway, I like asparagus. He's gonna stop and get the wood, get some more wood to, to build the other bed. Now, the other bed he decided he's not going to build so, last paper towel, he's not going to build so tall. He wants it, the other one is two, two boards high, he's going to do this one board high. So, he's going to be doing that. And he's getting wood to build my compost so I can start doing that. 
in my worm farm. I want a worm farm. I don't know. I just do. Let me get salt and pepper for this. I use the pink salt. I like the pink salt. It tends to be a little stronger though than the regular salt. And pepper. I like ground pepper. And I like a lot of pepper. So, we're doing that. Well, anyway, he called. He's on his way home from work. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even think of anything for dinner. Nothing. There, that'll work. See? I'll put that in the oven when he gets home. So what I'm making is a quick fix. Let me put these away. I have a quick fix dinner. I have deer meat in the microwave defrosting. And I bought Hamburger Helper. Taco Hamburger Helper. That's what we're doing tonight because that's what I have time for tonight. I haven't been sleeping very good. I don't know why. I haven't been able to fall asleep till like 2 in the morning. I don't like doing that because then, but then I get up like at 8. You know, I don't know. I just don't, I don't like staying up that late. I might have defrosted the deer meat too much. I think I did. Oh, all right, let me get you back in here. We'll see. We will see. I probably made a big bee ball out of this pound of deer meat. Probably did. That's okay. I could break, ouch. Boy, that's hot. Yep, I did. Look at I cook the deer meat when I defrost it. It looks like a big old meatloaf. Well, I'll just break it up when I ground it because I like because, just because. I've got my cast iron skillet going. Let me heat that up. I still need to clean it better. That needs to still happen. Get a fork and let me go break up this no seriously I really did make a meatloaf out of it break it up well at least it's all halfway cooked you know Just break it up the insides okay oh it'll work it'll work let me put you. Okay, now you're in my microwave. He'll never know. Not unless he watches this video. He might know. But hey, what are you going to do? I like my, when I ground beef, I like it almost burnt. Any either deer meat. I like hamburger. I mean, right to the crispy stage because then I know it's I like my hamburgers that way too I don't like now my steaks I like to eat medium raw you know medium rare there I like it that way because they're easier they're a lot easier to chew try it sometime make your steak like medium rare oh, the meat is so tender and it's so good that way but now my hamburgers, I like when I have a hamburger, it's got to be well done. I don't like any pink in it. I like it crispy. I don't know why. And hot dogs too. If you're going to cook me a hot dog, I'll have it black. I'll have it black. I like it that way. And my <laughs> marshmallows, you know you do marshmallows. I like those burnt on fire. So, go ahead, light my marshmallow on fire. Blow it out, because that's the way I like it. I'm adding pepper to this. It's dinner, right? Thank God we have all this deer meat, because every everything in my area is gone. And it's probably gone in your area, too. My mom, whoa. My mom and I are going to go shopping because she's going to need some stuff. 
we're gonna go shopping like next Wednesday she was gonna I told her I said I will go with you and I'll bring my alcohol spray I have in this bottle here alcohol spray I put it in there this is my I got Lysol sitting here and I got Clorox wipes and then I've got the thermometer the Aleve D this is like good this is good stuff Aleve D good stuff and yeah oh here and this I told my husband I said listen if you get up in the middle of the night we're gonna make this really easy if you get up and you're not feeling good here's the thermometer here's the everything you need nighttime cold medicine and all of that and let me tell you what I use see this stuff Asper cream not I am really not sponsored by any of this but I have rot in my spine neck fusions all that good stuff and when I'm hurting Asper cream with lidocaine you gotta buy this they sell it in a spray so I can do it myself so I could put this directly in the middle of my back whereas I have the roll on kind too I can't put that in the middle of my back I can't reach it so when I found the spray where'd my fork go I'll be right back found the fork when I found the lidocaine spray I was oh my gosh let's buy that I need that in my life because for years and years and years I've had to have other people put stuff on my back because my rod is in a spot I can't reach I can't nope can't reach it so that spray love it so I don't think I'm crazy I mean some people are going overboard with all this buying and everything you need you know I have my little pile sitting over there look at this, this is a steam chamber I have my little pile sitting over there and that's it that is it if we get sick there's something here because who wants to get up in the middle of the night when you don't feel good you know or if you get up in the middle of the night you're coughing you're fever you're sick you need something so we have that food I didn't do anything extra I had just really gone to the grocery store and it's just me and my husband here and I could drive through McDonald's if I wanted to so we have enough food and he got a deer this year so we've got a lot of deer meat in the freezer All right, so this is working out quite well. Look at this. My big my big chunks. They're gone. Well, I have a problem. This calls for two and three fourths cups water. Okay. Got that. Got that. Alright, we'll put that right in there. And then it calls for a cup of milk. I have a milk allergy. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. Unless I don't put, the, I have to put the milk in it. There goes my cup of milk. And I won't be eating this for dinner. <sighs> I just developed a milk allergy like this year. Well, this year last year actually and I, I don't know I don't know you don't want to know what happens if I have milk it's not pretty and I don't feel well when I corn chips I guess those go last what is this probably the right. you guys have hamburger helper now I need scissors for make hamburger helper my favorite kind of hamburger helper is the, cheese, the cheeseburger kind that probably takes milk that I shouldn't be having but that doesn't bother me I wonder how much milk that takes 
These are on sale for a dollar. These, it, I got them at Menards actually. So I thought, well, why not? I've got all this deer meat to do something with, so why not? Might as well just do this. The rice. Rice. I've got like a lot of deer meat ground up because that's we ground it all. We mixed it with like hamburger and deer meat together. So I've got a lot of deer meat out there so I, I'm trying to think of different things to do with it. So hamburger helper I got on nights like tonight where I forgot to plan dinner or on nights I'm not really feeling good. Oh, I almost shut you in the microwave. Alright, hold on. Another one, double cheeseburger. Does this take milk? Oh, this one takes two cups of milk. <sighs> Maybe I'll try eating it anyway. No, last night I made a chicken pot pie. I, I might show it in this video. I, my husband wanted me to film it. So, here, here's a clip of that. Hi everybody, it is in the evening and we're about to eat dinner and my husband wanted me to show you what's for dinner. I made a chicken pot pie, kind of. I kind of improvised. I'm going to show it to you. Alright, the bottom is the crust. Alright, look at that. I have just the regular crust, but on top of there is, I made stuffing. I thought instead of putting a top crust on my chicken pot pie, I'm going to cover it with stuffing. Why not? So there's like I did chicken in my in my cast iron skillet. I cut up chicken, white chicken breast, and fried that up with some seasonings. Put that put that on top of the pie crust first. Put that in first. And then I had some frozen peas and corn. That went in next. And then I put some potatoes in there, cut them in little squares and put some potatoes in there. And then made some gravy. I didn't have chicken broth, so I used beef broth. So I've got a chicken pot pie with beef broth. And then I put stuffing on top of it instead of a crust. I, I just think that looks so good. I don't know. But there you go. That's what's for dinner tonight. All right, I was in my pajamas ready for bed when I filmed that. But that was so good. And I topped this top, the top with stuffing instead of putting a top crust on it. Oh boy, was that good. That was very good. I'll just have that tonight left over. Hamburger helper in a cast iron skillet. Can't beat that, now can you? All right, well that's my day for the day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.